Welcome to Autumn Approved, the channel where we review all things to make parenting easier and to see if my daughter Autumn approves. On this episode, we're going to review the Radio Flyer Voya and the Larktail Caravan Coupe Stroller Wagons. Beginning with the coupe, here is the handlebar, it is adjustable, and here are some measurements of the carriage. The footwell is optional, so when it is being used, the depth is 6 inches. The length across is 17 and a half inches, and between the two seats is 10 inches. I forgot to clip my seats in, but you can see the clip where it should be clipped in the back of the wagon. There is good clearance under the canopy, and here I am measuring seat butt to canopy height, and it is 26 and a half inches. The canopy is extendable. You just have to unzip it, and it goes further in toward the middle. The back of the canopy is mesh, and you get a mesh peekaboo window as well. Inside the carriage, there are four mesh pockets. There are two per seat, one on each side, and two five-point harnesses. It also comes with a parent console. As I mentioned earlier, the handlebar height is adjustable. At the highest point, it is 41 and a half inches, which is comfortable for tall parents. The wheel measurements are as follows. What's nice about this is that the front wheels do lock so that if you have rougher terrain, it can lock in place. It also comes standard with a pull handle. The pull handle is removable, so it doesn't have to stay there the whole time, but it's nice to have. And just like the Larktail Caravan, it does have reclining seats. You just push the two buttons on the side and pull it out and the seat reclines. Both sides can slightly recline. Storage-wise, it comes with this caddy, which can also be a snack tray in the center. I forgot to bring it to the park, so I just inserted it in the video there, as well as the parent console and this mesh back pocket. To fold it, you have to fold in the canopies as well as the seats before you pull the two triggers on the sides to fold it down. Each seat has a weight limit of 65 pounds and folds a lot more compact when not in the reclined position. There is a manual lock on the side that you can clip it so that it stays together when it's closed. To open it up, you just do the opposite of what you did to close it, put the canopies back, and then open up the seats and make sure they're clipped. Just like the caravan, the coupe also has a flip-flop friendly brake pedal. And now for my new favorite segment of each video, we weigh the wagons and the Larktail Caravan Coupe with everything on it, two seats, canopies, 43 pounds. Now for the Radio Flyer Voya. It comes with a parent console as well as a storage basket which is removable and mesh pockets on the back sides of each seat. This storage basket can be used as a tote, as you can see from the handles, and it is collapsible, so it folds flat with the wagon. Here are some measurements of the wagon itself. This footwell is not optional, so there's no way to make it a flat bed carriage, but here are the dimensions of the footwell. As for canopy clearance, the seat butt to canopy height is 25 inches.
This also has two five point harnesses as well as four mesh pockets, two on either side of each seat as well as a snack tray. The canopies are also removable. You just lift it up from its little slot and it comes off really easily. It also comes standard with two cup holders which you can put on any of the four corners of this wagon. There is no listed seat weight limit, but the whole wagon is weight limit of 120 pounds. The whole back part of the canopy is mesh, and you also have a nice mesh peekaboo window up top. The handlebar height without being straight up is 42 and a half inches. The handlebar is adjustable using the two buttons on the side. The measurements of the wheels are as follows. This has a really easy accordion fold. You just push the two buttons on the side and pull up and then you can lock it together so it stays in place. It also has a pull handle, which is not removable, but it is spring-loaded so it doesn't just fall to the ground. There's only two handlebar heights for the pull handle. To open the wagon, just undo the latch and expand it, and there you have it, folks. So this doesn't have flip-flop friendly brakes, but it does have a brake bar, which means anywhere you put your foot, you can engage the brakes. If you noticed earlier, you can close this wagon with the snack tray on, so we left the snack tray on as well as everything else, and it weighs 37 pounds. Now for the terrains. I have my daughter in the wagon as well as my son in his car seat. I don't recommend putting car seats on like this. We just did it for the video. We don't normally put the car seats like this at all. But here it is on the beach. Pushing it was a struggle but using the pull handle was a little bit better. Certainly not too many wagons do well at the beach in soft sand. On the grass, however, you can pull it, push it. It just was very smooth. As for the radio flyer, we have my daughter and my son in it again. My son is in his car seat. I don't recommend putting your car seat on the wagon like this, but we didn't want to just leave him in the corner of this, the park while we filmed. Anyhow, here is the radio flyer on the soft sand at the beach. We got through a little bit of it before we had to go ahead and use the pull handle. Definitely easier with the pull handle. In terms of how it fits in our trunk, this is our Honda Odyssey minivan. I put the radio flyer Voya on one side, and then I was able to actually fit the Lartel coupe on the other side. So they both fit in our van very nicely. Only takes up half of the space of the van. For a smaller fold, you can actually remove the wheels of the Lark Tail. So if you have a smaller vehicle, you can have that option as well. The radio flyer, you cannot remove the wheels. Overall, these two are one of the more compact stroller wagons out there. They do both come in at very similar price points and come with a lot of different accessories. Hopefully watching this video will help you decide which stroller wagon is for you. So as you know, Autumn Approved has reached a thousand subscribers and we are so excited. Thank you so much for all of the support. To celebrate that milestone, I will be giving away the Larktail Caravan Coupe that we used to film this video. Please see the description box down below on how to enter this giveaway.